Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to keep it really, really casual and I'm going to do a no makeup makeup look or a very, very light coverage makeup look. I tend to go a little heavy handed so it might turn into just light coverage rather than no makeup makeup. We'll see how it goes. I didn't want to mess with any big lights or my huge, weird work in progress setup that I've been doing lately. So I'm just setting you up on my makeup desk. I have a little ring light here. Hopefully the light is all good. Yeah, I just wanted to keep it ultra casual today. I've been feeling a little bit of the quarantine sluggishness recently, but I still wanted to get a video out and I thought we'd do just like a casual makeup look. I feel like this is going to be one of those looks that is super versatile and will just help elevate your natural beauty so it'll look like your skin but better. I just got my gel polish and UV light in and I just did my nails and they're a little rough. I'm definitely not a nail artist by any means. We're testing the waters. We'll see how it goes. I might go back to the professionals one day but Hopefully not, I'd love to save some money in that realm. Okay, let's get started. Number one thing when you're trying to do a light coverage look or a no makeup makeup look is to try to make your skin look really good on its own. So your skin routine is gonna be really, really important with this. As you can probably tell, I've got some residue skin routine sinking in. It's really important to keep your skin healthy, to take care of it, to eat well, eat things that your skin really responds to, drink a lot of water, um, but that's really gonna help for light coverage looks to look even better, is to just have a healthy, clean, happy base. <laughs> Make your skin happy. Because I've got a lot of moisture going on from my skin routine, I'm not gonna put down the Milk Hydro Grip. I think it's just gonna kind of be overdone at that point, but I am going to use my professional just to really smooth things out right away. This is going to make our base look even more impeccable. I am going to go in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. I have it in 32, but this is a really nice natural finish concealer, and I am going to put it where I normally put it. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. It's important to use a concealer that you know isn't gonna look heavy if you are looking for that no makeup makeup look or just a light coverage look. And we're really just applying this concealer to even things out. I do have a blemish coming in, so I'm gonna put a little bit more on top of that. I'm just gonna blend that out. And the beauty sponge is nice because it's gonna soak up any residue product that you have. So if you really are looking for that light coverage, you're definitely going to get it even more with a beauty sponge. I know I use it every time I do my makeup, but if you don't, I highly, highly recommend using it for one of these kinds of looks. If you have some spots that you want a little bit more coverage, then you can go over it again with concealer. I'm gonna go over that blemish again and just cover the nose just a little bit more. This concealer does claim that it doesn't need to be set, but I'm a little bit oily and I had some oils and some moisturizers on underneath it. So that's really gonna help the product to move around in ways I don't want it to. So I am gonna set it lightly with some powder. I'm mostly just gonna put it on my nose and slightly under my eye. Nothing crazy. Just set the places that I normally get incredibly oily especially when it's sunny and warm out and you're sweating, those oils really come forward and I'm an oily mess after that. So I really need this powder to keep everything in and really prevent it from moving around. And I am gonna take just a little bit of this powder and put it on top of that blemish that I have coming in so that that doesn't move around so we can try to motivate the concealer on top of that to really stay in place too. Next, we are just going to warm the face up just a little bit give you some life back into that beautiful face of yours. I'm just gonna use the Butter Bronzer. This is probably the lightest bronzer that I have. Just go into the cheekbones, hit that forehead. Even though this is a fast and easy look, I'm still gonna warm up the nose a little bit, make it not look ignored. 
And then just take that same brush, put it right in your crease. Depth with no effort is what I like to call it. If you wanna skip blush, you totally can. I'm going to put some on just because I've got the time and I like a little bit of color to my cheeks. Use a very light hand. Oh, by the way, I am using the Jouer Blush Duo, and this is in Adore Me and Hold Me. And I really like these. They are incredibly natural, which is really good for this kind of look. I'm gonna take a little eyeshadow brush, and I am just gonna put it in the crease as well. A Little bit of color there as well, always nice. I am gonna clean up just a little bit under my blush, I only want to do this because I want to create the illusion that I have some cheekbones. If you have really defined cheekbones or you just don't have time, you can totally skip this and you're not going to look sloppy. This is just going to allow me to create a slight illusion that I don't already have. See? Looks a little bit more like I have some cheekbones and I just used my sponge that has a little bit leftover product. Super easy. You can also totally skip highlight. We have a really beautiful natural highlight going on because we put all of that skincare in the very beginning and the concealer is a little bit more on the glowy side and we didn't set it. So you have three steps that give you a really beautiful natural glow. But I like to go a little bit extra and normally I would go in with a liquid highlight. I really, really love the Cover FX highlight in Celestial. I think that's what it's called. I'll look it up and I'll put it in the bottom bar. Um, but I really love that one. I bought it like three times and I wore it all summer long last year, but I ran out of it. <laughs> so I'm going to use a powder highlight, but it's going to be a slightly more natural highlight than what I normally wear. I'm going to use a ColourPop highlight and it's in Hello Kitty Kitty, I think. Here Kitty Kitty. I don't know, I popped it in one of their compact things and the name's on the back of the highlight, so I can't see what it is, but I think it's here, Kitty Kitty. See, it just gives you a natural glow. It's not too harsh, but you can see that you're glowing. You can maybe even trick some non-makeup people into thinking this is your natural glow and it's not makeup. <laughs> trick all those stupid boys at the bars once we finally get to go to the bars again. Don't be too heavy handed though. I have the worst tendency of being heavy handed, especially when it comes to highlight. So stop before you think you need to stop or else you're really not gonna look like it's your skin anymore. And I'm gonna be completely candid with you. This is one of those looks that I probably just wouldn't do anything with my eyebrows because I am very fortunate to have full eyebrows. I can kind of just walk out the door and not have to worry about them. If you need to fill in your eyebrows, this is the step to do it but I am just gonna skip them for this look because that is what I would do on a no makeup makeup look kind of day. And the only thing we are going to do with our eyes is put on some mascara. We put our bronzer and our blush in our crease and that's really all you need to do. We're, we're not going overboard here. We're just gonna do some mascara and we're gonna call it a day. This is a good look to maybe only do one mascara. I always do two because I'm extra even when I'm doing a no makeup makeup look. But like you can truly just like and go. So I do see a lot of people skip lipstick when they do looks like this or just like throw on a gloss and that's super cool for them. I am a lipstick girl. It's my absolute favorite. So I am going to put on some lipstick but I'm going to give you some options. What I normally go for is just my absolute favorite nude lipstick, nude in quotations, not truly nude, but in their nudes collection is Bare Minerals Liquid Lip in Boss. This is what I reach for most days when I'm doing a look like this. Super versatile, cannot recommend it enough. Another option is to do a light coverage lipstick, especially with a look like this. We are very glowy. We look very natural. You can just try a natural lipstick. This is a lipstick I bought at Marshall's, I'm pretty sure. I literally just bought it because it's Marc Jacobs and it was like $10. And usually Marc Jacobs is $30. I bought it and then I opened it and I was like, oh shit, this is like 
nothing like I usually wear, but I actually really love it, especially for a look like this. And this is what I'm probably going to put on today. The thing I like most about it is that when I'm at work or when I'm busy, I can kind of put it on without a mirror. I do that with the Bare Minerals as well. I can just like slap it on, put a little bit of pigment to my lips and then move on because you're not gonna worry too much about it bleeding or, or smearing because it's so natural, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. The last option I'm gonna give you is just to find a nude lip pencil and a lip gloss. Just fill in your lips with the pencil and then put a lip gloss on and go. I think it'll give you a nice effortless glossy lip. I would just use a clear gloss or a nude gloss that matches the lip liner and you can kind of just grab and go. All of these things you can kind of just grab and go. That's the nice part about all of them. And you can reapply throughout the day without stressing about it looking terrible like you would a red lip or a really colorful lip. So I am going to go with the Marc Jacobs lip. Ugh, I know $30 is a lot for a lipstick, but if you can find it at a Marshalls or a TJ Maxx, ugh, the packaging is so, so nice. It's magnetic, so it will never open on you. And oh my God, it's so good. I love it so much. So I'm just gonna throw this on. This is not a lip that you can overline with by any means. It's glossy, it looks like your lips. Yeah, it's just really natural and beautiful. Spray your face down. You don't have a lot of powder on your face, so it's not a super necessity. Like if you really have to run out the door and you forget about it, this is a look that it's really not the biggest deal, but I always like to do it. Makes me feel like I'm completely finished. It's like the cherry on top of the makeup. <laughs> So this is the finished product. This is our no makeup makeup look, our very light coverage makeup look, whatever you wanna call it. This is probably what I would call a no makeup makeup look. I would maybe nix the highlighter. Other than that, this is pretty natural for me. This is a your skin but better kind of moment. You're gonna be walking down the street one day when we can walk down the street without masks on and people are gonna be like, ooh, what's her skincare routine like? Or Ooh, look at her glow or mm, damn girl. Whatever it is, you will walk out there and you will look beautiful and you will be healthy and glowing. This is a look I rock all summer long because it's super hot here in New York and I do not want to have a lot of product on my face, but I still want to look good. I still want to feel good. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, come say hello. Let me know your favorite no makeup makeup look products. I'm always looking for more products in that category because I am a full coverage kind of girl and I have a lot of full coverage products, not a lot of more natural products. So let me know what your natural products are. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Stay safe, stay sane.